shape me, no matter what it takes. It's not about me, and you should know that it's not about you. Jesus wants you to come. Jesus wants to save your life. Jesus wants to save your family's life. He wants to save your relatives and your friends and your workmates. Jesus is saying, come to me. Come to me, and I'll give you salvation. If you're ready to accept him into your heart, you need to pray with me right now and say, Lord, I, I'm a sinner, but I repent to you right now, all my sins. I believe that you are God. I believe you died for mankind and God raised you from the dead. Will you come into my life and be my savior? Lord, teach me to examine myself. I'll follow you in Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, congratulations, you are a child of God. God's going to work in you. He's going to put his Holy Spirit in you. He's going to guide you in the way everlasting, just like David asked him to do with him. He's going to do that for you. Get yourself a Bible. Start reading it. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Get yourself entrenched in a church where they're preaching the true word of God. You'll be well on your way. There's going to be a lot of self introspection along the way. Don't get wrapped up in yourself. Let God unwrap you, okay, and reveal what's really underneath. Let him peel the banana to see what's underneath your skin. Amen. And you'll be well on your way. You'll be well on your way. Now, we're going to, uh, <clears throat> we are spirit of truth and we're here for you. We're not in the building, but I believe we will soon be in the building. But soon is variable. You know, one day to the Lord is a thousand years, amen. So I don't know how long. <laughs> I'm hoping that it'll be sooner than later, but we are still waiting on the Lord. But what I'm saying is that you're welcome to come when he does put us back in the building and we're preparing for that one way or the other. So uh, until then, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to do a deliverance prayer. Then we're going to pray out and let you all have your day, okay? Lord, we come to you now to ask you to remove these things out of our lives. Blasphemy and obscenity, profanity, coarse talking, critical spirits. Spirits of jealousy, coveting, envy, murmuring, gossiping, selfishness, greed, gluttony, pride, and rebellion. Stubbornness, prejudice, racism, uh, hatred, unforgiveness, unrepentant hearts, spiritual blindness, fear, confusion, contentions, resentment, depression, and anxiety. Revenge, superstition, help transgender children, re remove procrastination, complacency, apathy, lying in all forms. Liars cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Stealing, fraud, mental abuse, sexual, child abuse, spousal abuse, elder abuse, all these things are abominations. Uh, domestic violence, uh, murder, abortion, suicide, self-mutilation, selfish ambition. Lord, remove that from us. Addictive spirits, spirits of mental illness, infirmities, physical impairments, discouragement, let nothing keep us from you, Lord. Mocking God, superficial faith, conceit, fence straddling, casual or compromising Christianity, uh, satanic cults, delving in divination, witchcraft, necromancy, voodoo, uh, uh, Ouija boards, seances, uh, psychics, fortune tellers, tarot cards, tea leaves, crystal balls, astrology, anything dealing with the occult, remove it from us, Lord. And uh, also homosexuality, bisexuality, adultery, fornication, incest, cross-dressing, pornography, whatever the media is pushing as being uh, the latest uh, big thing, Lord, remove that immorality from us. Gambling, doubt, division, hidden agendas, distraction, unbelief, cyberbullying, rejection, animal cruelty, desecrating the land that you've given us, Lord, and anything else that might keep us from you, would you remove it from us? Finally, Lord, I ask for a blessing for everyone who tuned in. Those that tuned in on Facebook, those on uh, YouTube, and of course, <clears throat> our regular faithful followers here at Spirit of Truth, and uh, uh, all of our friends, Lord, who, who we can't see, but we know they're there. Lord, I ask for a special blessing. I ask that you keep us, Lord, provide everything we need physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, Lord, some of us could use some dollars, Lord, in the account, especially with what's going on today. We know that you can make a way, Lord, for your people. 
uh, Lord, you said that you would increase our storehouses, Lord God, uh, uh, according to the promises that you've given us, Lord. So we believe on you, and I'm asking you to bless everyone that needs it, Lord, in their businesses, uh, in their homes, Lord, to help their families, to pay the bills, keeping us afloat, Lord. We thank you, and we ask you to continue to do so for all your people, Lord, in Jesus' name. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly greater than anything we could ever ask or imagine, according to the power that's working through us, which is you, O oh Lord. We thank you for everything you've done. We ask you to be with us, Lord, until we meet again. Keep us healthy. Keep us uh, in your word. Keep us sane in you. We love you, Lord, and we honor you. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, saints. You all have a wonderful day in the Lord. God bless you all. <laughs>